Bruder. Alright, Island, this is the next day, and just before we do get started, I just want to let you know that there will be a, there will be a, the Super Blood Moon, um, tonight, and which will be, um, towards the end of this episode. Alright, everyone, let's get started with today. So, it's the next day. And he's on the zilch scoring thing again. Which just, which has side by side by side at the bottom there. Things are go, no. Don't get any of those. No. Have a look at them. Eights, threes, ends, two stripes, crockies, <laughs> crowns, flies, blue flowers, red flowers, wind, <laughs> blue flowers, red flowers, red flowers, green things, god, it's dragons, nine, day dragon, the eight bamboo sticks, nines, eights, side by side, nothing, and wind tiles side by side, nothing, and even the fours. Nothing. Every single time. Yes, yeah, see, there's just nothing at all in that list anywhere. I can clearly see. Just how fascinating the reading is. And by fascinating I mean it is absolutely ridiculous that it just doesn't put up anything at all. I think we know exactly what the score is going to be, so I don't think we have to announce nothing. <laughs> and actually, it paid off. And the score? Amazing. 6 2 six, oh. Hmm. But it took 6 minutes and 14 seconds to complete. And that's pretty much a lot, half of the allotted time that it's been given. <coughs> Switch the birdies outside and shut up. <laughs> Got the blood moon tonight, by the way. That's why I came out here. Blood moon tonight, so I'll be I'll be out in the front yard tonight. In case you're wondering, so you islanders can see it. Why are you clean the right here? Uh, no new views, no nothing, of course. Oh, no new views. Oh, my God. Uh, nothing. Mm hmm. Every time. Uh, well, Uncle Thomas has another video for you. Looks like an ad freaking out over his Mahjong game again. So I'll give that to you at some point. <clears throat> Catch you Islanders later.
Alright, Islanders, dinner's done. But I'm not going to film for long because I want to leave some space in for the for that blood moon that, that you'll be watching tonight. I think I'll have to film it on my Panasonic camcorder, which, speaking of which, I actually need to get that on the charge right now. I need to get that phone on charge now. Not that phone, I mean the camcorder on charge. Where is it? Well, oh, there it is. I'm just gonna disconnect the iPhone from there and disconnect this in instead so I can get my video camera charged up for this now. I don't normally do this but you know for special things like these and for other life postcards I will use the the camcorder for that. It's just that the camcorder can receive the night sky better than the um better than this Redmi Note 8 Pro can, so Plug that in, charge that up, there it is, anyway I'll just show you quickly outside and then end off the uh, video, where we'll switch to the camcorder. And we're also edging closer to the anniversary episode. Um, so nice and sunny outside, which is perfect because when we uh, film the um, the blood moon in a couple of hours' time, which you'll be seeing right after this, um, it'll be good for us to be able to film the blood moon um, starting at around 7:45. So, yeah, so, um, so yes. So thanks for watching this episode of Island Life. Leave a like, follow, and I'll see you on this tomorrow. Goodbye, and enjoy the blood moon on the camcorder angle. Now this is a rare opportunity, everyone, so... You are all lucky that I'm here to record this lunar eclipse and put it on to Island Life. Now I've heard that there's some... Neighbours next door that are also watching. I can't even see in the dark. Okay, there it is, right up here. So right up here, as you can see with the clouds going through, but right there, that's the moon. And tonight it's actually the, the moon. So the eclipse starts right about now, and as you can see, it's actually quite... You can actually see some of the some of that red blood right there. That's because it's the um like I can see it in real life as just you know the white moon, but you can actually see through this lens here that it actually does look a bit you know blood saturated. <coughs> but I've heard that any minute the eclipse is going to start. And it's going to be a rare opportunity for you to see this because I don't normally do this. But I promised that I would in today's episode of Island Life, so I'm doing it now. Although there doesn't seem to be much happening. This is the eclipse right now. Now I will be providing updates. Um, every few minutes or so. So make sure you keep watching the space um, as to what happens here. People going back inside now. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. There's that moon there. I'll provide you with an update shortly. Okay. Okay, everyone, a bit of an update here. Um, some more light has actually disappeared from that moon, as you can see. Even through the cloud coverage here, you can still see some of that moon. 
Um, it's no longer it's no longer got the blood rays coming off of it. It's now completely just completely white. But yes, everyone, as you can see, some more light has disappeared off of that moon, you know, which means that this eclipse is going to happen, and it is happening right now in front of your very eyes. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a full-on, full-on live stream of this on YouTube uh, at the time that this was recorded, because um, I'm only going to be providing like, like a minute or two um, of the uh, eclipse every every 15 or so minutes. I can no doubt say that the clouds are just about to cover up the moon though, so that means that you won't be able to see the moon anymore after this. It's because of the copious amounts of our bad weather we get here and the enormous cloud buildup that we get around here all the time. But there it is. Bye bye to the moon. Because we'll never see it again for the rest of tonight. You know, this in itself could be the um, could be the uh, e eclipse. I oh, know this is not the actual thing. The um, the the amount of lack of light from that moon is what the eclipse is actually what is meant to be. Provide another update at quarter past. Okay, everyone, this is the next update here, and of course, the clouds have fully covered up the moon, but I can still see a bit of the light coming through on there. We don't know exactly for sure um, if at all that is, um, if the uh, moon has lost more light or something, which is the eclipse. And unfortunately, it's like very dark. You can't see anything. The only light that I can see right now is this video camera here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and then I'm going to resume recording again when the moon is in sight. Because you can't see it right now because of the heavy cloud. We've got very dense cloud coverage. So... Yeah, so I'll see you all once the clouds have subsided a bit. Okay, everyone, we've got a bit of an update here. The clouds are starting to move away. Um, now, this right here is the last chance that you'll get to see of this moon here. Because, uh, unfortunately, it seems that we've got a lot of cloud coverage here, which I was not prepared for. Um, and in this update here, you can actually see that the moon is half gone now. That half the moon is missing. That's because that this eclipse right here is actually the real thing. So in case, so in case you're wondering what I was talking about earlier, this is what I was talking about. So there's going to be a moon eclipse. It's going along very, very slowly as well. I have to say, but at least, at least it's still, at least some of the moon is still there. What I might have to do is I might have to um, also record uh, um, an eclipse coverage on um, the. Um, eclipse uh, live stream as well because my sky because the sky that I have out here is going to get completely um, covered up in um, in about a minute or so so there'll be no hope of um, getting back out here in 15 minutes because the whole sky will be gone and replaced by thick cloud uh, so there it is everyone that's the last you'll see of this cloud here um, this moon here I'll have to switch to the live stream uh, after that, um, so there it is there. So a lot more, a lot more light has gone um, from it compared to last time. I'll just zoom out again. Um, you, it may not pick it up on the video camera, but it actually picks up in real life that that of course that that moon there is now only half the size of what it was to start with. So there it is. More light has gone from the half, like almost half the moon is. <laughs> visible only half the moon is visible now oh, yeah, there it is so yeah unfortunately um, I'll be unable to provide further updates because the sky is gonna completely be blocked off now by the by these thick clouds up in the sky 
Um, so yeah, so that means that the moon will be fully blocked and you will not be able to see any more further updates. I'll be coming back out here in half past, and and if I see that there's thick cov thick cloud coverage and it's not going to be, and I won't be able to pick up any more of the uh, moon, I'll have to switch to the live stream angle uh, because they'll be live streaming this because I can't pick up any more of this transmission. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next update if it happens. Okay, everyone, unfortunately, due to uh, Due to problems, I'm having problems right now um, with the uh, thick cloud coverage outside. So this is the update on the moon here. It still seems as though about half of the moon still exists. So it's not really surprising to me. I'm just on, I'm just on the lunar eclipse right here on this YouTube live stream here. Uh, it does seem though that at the super bud moon eclipse right here, it actually does look. But it does actually look like the white moon that it does today. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, I will still provide updates. I'm about to provide another update in about nine minutes. So, yes, everyone. So, I'll provide you another update in about seven minutes now. Bye. Okay, there's a little update for you all. I'm going to go step out onto the road here, but after I had to um, show the live stream angle at uh, 8.30, um, about 20 minutes ago from real time. Um, yes, well, obviously the uh, bad weather's gone away for now. And look what I found. I found the moon, though it's actually much, much smaller than what it was before. Now at a 9-11, that moon will be completely blocked out. And I think the worst of the weather is over now, so that means that um, we won't have any more, any more sky disruptions. I think the sky is no longer blocked now, so we can continue to provide this um, documentation in a safe environment. Oh, I was wondering where it was. Yeah. So I'm providing these images to you in a safe environment, for me. Okay. Why does it keep going off track? Okay. So I'm providing them in a safe filming environment for me, right? Okay. Um, because I'm providing them, I'm on, I'm standing on the, on, um, on, um, on this property driveway here. I'm in front of the house, so I'm providing this in a safe environment for me. Okay. You wouldn't want to be on, the, you wouldn't want to be on the road. Um, so that's about it for now. So I will provide to you the next update at 9 p.m. local time. See you then. Yeah, it's me. Okay, everyone, another update again. Um, almost all, almost, the moon is almost entirely gone. The moon is almost entirely gone. In fact, we just a tiny bit of light coming from that moon right now. It's nine o'clock now. Well, it might be just near that time now, but look at that. You see that there? That's the tiny bit of light that's left. There's only a tiny amount of that moon still visible there. Um, in about, in about, in, 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 um, I think it's going to be about another, another nine minutes, and that will be gone for a while. It's going to be gone for the next like 18 or so minutes. So there it is, everyone. That's that's the update right now. 9 p.m. update. Um, by the time it's 9:15, that will be completely gone. About another eight minutes, I guess. I guess. So in another eight minutes, that's going to be gone completely. And this moon will be completely dark for a while. Before it comes out on the other side. So I'm so looking forward to seeing this. It's a once in a lifetime chance, everyone. Because I don't normally get to film this stuff. And we're luckily to be able to film this on Island Life. Psycho Dad is inside there. I'm having a cup of coffee. 
and making a cup of coffee so right now yeah that's just the last little bit of light that's up there at the moment I can no doubt say that within six minutes time that light's gonna go out and the moon will be completely dark for a while and then and then it'll and then and then the, the light will come shining out on the other side so this is gonna be pretty good so I'll let you see it for another 10 seconds and then I'll provide you with the next update after that I'll see you all in the next update. Okay, everyone, I'm just providing another update just right after. Uh, with this, this moon is totally gone dark right about now. So there it is. That's the last look of it just before it goes. And within a few minutes, that's going to be gone as well. And the moon will turn dark for a little bit. Um, so that's why in a few minutes that I'm going to be providing an update on the live stream um, using a live stream because unfortunately I'll be unable to do this but I know at 9.30 I'll be providing an update and I'll be back out here again to do it because like I said I'm going to be providing updates here until around about 10.30ish um, when I'll be ending off the Island Life episode for the day but uh, yeah it is pretty amazing just to see that moon right there and having to see the eclipse. I have not filmed an eclipse with really good equipment and I have not seen a moon eclipse before although I did see one in Kaya Mine but I, I, I didn't get to see it all that much and I didn't have good filming equipment back in the day because <laughs> it was 2014. I'll see you in the next update on live stream. There it is everyone. The blood moon. That's what it looks like. And I'm on the live stream as you can see. I'd actually like to thank Cosmo Sapiens on YouTube for providing this live stream right here. So yes, Cosmo Sapiens, you're being featured on Island Life uh, over at Daily Motion. I'd like to thank you for providing this because I'm obviously being able to provide this. Oh, there's going to be a solar eclipse on June 10th, 2021, everyone, so I'll have to look out for that. And if it, and if it, and if the solar eclipse is going to go across here in Australia, then I will definitely be able to make sure that I actually am awake for that and will be recorded on Island Life, hopefully. Hmm. I'll also be wearing um, protection equipment like sunglasses and stuff like that. But I will have this video camera ready for it. With the sun for that event. <clears throat> anyway, let's go take a look outside, shall we? And see if the moon is gone or if that little bit of light's still there. Look at that iconic piece, everyone. It kind of looks like almost, kind of looks like as if almost the entirety of that light is right behind there. But that's what it looks like now, up in that sky there. This is the quarter to nine update. I also provided a live stream um, port as well. Shout out to the Cosmos um, Sapiens for the, uh, for the live stream footage. Hang on a second. I see some lights coming in the distance. Hang on, there it is. Okay, good. Can focus up here now. I know there's curlers going off in the background, that's why I don't sleep at night because of them. But here it is. There it is, that's the moon. And it kind of looks like it's almost all gone, so I'll provide the next update, 9.30. There it is everyone, right along here. I've still got that moon up there. And it is 9.30 now, so I think the light's starting to come out now. And the moon will return back to its former glory. And that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Um, alternatively, you can actually go to the website 
Um, you can go to Cosmo Sapiens on YouTube and look at this, of course, but I'm not sure if that live stream will be there now. Um, at the time that this gets published, probably will be gone, but anyways, there it is. Um, so yeah, everyone, that's... And I provided this update a little bit late, it's after 9.30. And I'll be able to provide this to you in 9.45 and 10 minutes. So I'll see you in my next update. I just thought I'd quickly provide a uh, another update here. This is the this, the uh, the Super Blood Moon um, right here on YouTube here by Cosmo Sapiens. I'm due to provide my update in about six minutes, so I'll be heading outside again then and provide an update. So I'll see you in that update, everyone. This is going to become a long island life episode today. <coughs> and there it is, everyone. You can see right there is just a round sphere, but if you zoom in one focus things not focusing but yeah you can see right there it's very small Yeah, you can see a small bit of light coming down from there. And that's that's my update for I think it was quarter to ten. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but I'll be providing an update for you again in the next five minutes, which will be the ten o'clock update. So there it is, that's the progress now. See you in the next update. Another update everyone. And yeah, the spoon's starting to come back now. And we are just about uh, under an hour away before the before the um, before the moon eclipse comes to an end. Um, the moon eclipse comes to an end at about about ten fifty six, at around ten fifty two. So um, I will be providing the last update at eleven o'clock tonight. So eleven p.m. tonight will be the last update before we end off island life for the day. That's what it looks like now. Um, still got some more to do. Someone coming. I like they turn it off, okay. See you in the next update. Okay everyone another update here. And I'll be providing another update again in another 10 minutes time, but uh, the eclipse is starting to go now, so that means that the, the moon is starting to return back now. It's currently at halfway now, at the moment. It's currently at halfway. So that means that the eclipse is nearly at an end, and as you can see, I'm right behind my house. Right behind the house that is primarily used to film island life, I'm right behind that house now, so. And there it is, that orb up in the sky. I'll see you in my next update. Okay everyone, another update again, this is the 10.30 update, and the moon is starting to return back to its normal shape, as you've seen before, that's what it looks like now, and it's going to return back to its normal shape, which means that very soon, it'll be right back to the way things were. Need to check in on the live stream as well about this. 
So yes, everyone, I'll be checking in on the live stream next. If it's still running, I'll have a look. I'll see if it's still running. Okay, so I'll see you on the live stream angle. Alright, everyone. Here's the, uh, here's how the moon looks at 10.36 on the 26th of May. What the moon looks like. So we were only 20 minutes away from that from that moon being ending. It says the total lunar eclipse will be visible in Australia. So yeah, the total lunar eclipse will be visible in Australia, parts of the western US. Western South America or in Southeast Asia. So yeah, Southeast Asia, much of North America, South America, Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Ocean will be able to see a partial solar eclipse. And that's what the moon looks like now. I'll be providing um, two more updates. Um, and then that's it. So, of course, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next update. Alright, here's another update right here. This is with the moon. This is the moon right here. Um, on the live stream. And up there, the moon's almost back up to full to full code again. We are four minutes away from that eclipse ending. It's looking pretty good. And yes, everyone, I'm going to have one last update coming up very, very soon. I'll see you in my last update. Okay, everyone, this is the final update. Uh, according to the live stream here, this lunar eclipse is actually showing the moon is halfway there. Um, but unfortunately, that's all I can really, really show um, for there. Um, let's go outside one last time and show you the night sky up there. Oh. Okay, Islanders, I'll show you out here one final time. Just to verify to you that you know, the night sky is active again and, of course, the moon is back up to former glory. There it is everyone, the moon is back up to the way it was. It has been wonderful to see this. This lunar eclipse is over now, so... Yep, so this is why this is the final update. Wow, you can see the moon, it's so detailed on this video camera here. That moon is... So much detail, I can't even keep the video camera still. Oh, yeah, so much detail in that moon. Well, everyone, that's a final look at the moon. Well, thank you everyone for being here to witness this lunar eclipse of 2021. been an honor and until next time we'll see you on the next episode of island life
goodbye. Look who's here to join us. Where's the moon, Shane? Right up there. Oh, so it is. It is indeed up there. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it, everyone. That was the last update. See you on the next episode of Island Life. <laughs>